Hello children, as a part of the series of experiments in physics presented by Mobile Science Lab, in today's class we are verifying the Archimedes principle. This is very famous. The Archimedes principle says whenever an object is immersed in water, it appears to have lost some weight. The loss of weight is equal to the volume of the water it has displaced. That object could be anything. Now, let us start the experiment. Before beginning, the apparatus required is the, what is it? This is a spring balance. You must have come across this. Now, this is the object which I am using to verify the Archimedes principle. This is the overflow jaw which I already filled it up with water. This is the beaker. I am making use of this to collect the water coming out of the overflow jar. How shall we proceed? We know that every object has got some mass. So, the mass of the object has to be found, weight. Now, the mass can be found out by using the spring balance. I can also use the ink machine, but I do not prefer it for the simple reason that I have to find the weight of the bob when it is immersed in water. So, I would rather think that this should be used. I have hanged the bob with the support of a string and the weight of the bob turns out to be 65 grams. Now, you can see clearly when it is immersed in water weight of the bob, when it is kept in water, it is 30 grams. The loss in weight is 65 minus 30, 35 grams. This should be equal to the volume of the water displaced. Let us see whether the volume of the water is 35 ml or not. I am measuring the volume of the water. Ten ml. Ten ml. It has become twenty. Thirty. And finally, it is turned out to be 35 ml. The loss of weight is equal to the volume of the water displaced. The loss of weight is 35 grams because the weight of the bob in air is 65 grams. When it is immersed in water, it was weighing around 30 grams. The difference in weight is 35 grams and the volume of the water is also 35 ml. This proves the Archimedes principle. This experiment can also be performed with different objects and then prove the Archimedes principle. Thank you very much.